The summer transfer window hasn't even started yet. Yet we're beating away rumours left, right and centre. Oh, come on, you must beat them away with a stick. Some United links do seem to already have some substance to them though. But we still don't know who the manager's going to be. That long-awaited review still taking place. Boring! But it looks like Ineos are pursuing the targets nonetheless and making inroads into those summer transfer plans. Obviously a lot depends on the player sales and in a perfect world United would get around 100 million for them but we realistically know that's not going to happen because no one really wants our overpaid players. In today's video I wanted to do a bit of a transfer window prediction and have a look based on the current rumours what our team could look like going into next season. As always guys drop a like if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new around here and let's get into it. Right, okay, let's go. So first of all, let's look at that centre midfield position and along with centre back, that does seem to be the main priority for this transfer window as it seems to be for every transfer window. Boring! Having those as our priority does potentially mean on missing out on Elise to Chelsea but hopefully it doesn't come to that and in terms of centre midfield, the main guy for United, the one they're desperate to sign seems to be João Neves from Benfica. We've been tracking him for over a year and it seems like United's interest is more genuine than people actually first thought and obviously the price is going to be a major issue. With his release clause being sort of around that 120 million euros, obviously United can't afford that with the rest of the deals that we need to do in this transfer window. So it all depends on Benfica really and whether they're willing to do a deal and the last few days it seems like they maybe are willing to do a bit more of a deal now. It seemed as if it was off the table at first, but now it seems as if United, there might be some legs to this deal and maybe the asking price is a little bit less than what we first thought. Maybe obviously a player going the other way could potentially sweeten the deal a little bit. Either way, as I've said, this deal does seem to have some legs. United do also have plenty of other alternatives. The likes of Hoylman, the likes of Onana, the likes of Joe Gomez from Wolves, Fafana, who's in the last year of his contract and it's rumoured that United might actually try and bring in Fafana anyway on that cut price deal alongside someone like Joe Neves depending on how much money obviously United have got to spend during this transfer window. But as I've said guys, at the minute, Joe Neves seems to be the favoured one for that position and don't count it out because it does seem as if United are desperate to get that deal done and it seems as though obviously he's keen to come as well with the links obviously chatting to Bruno Fernandes Maybe United can get that deal done after all. You teasing me, you naughty naughty. And now centre back is another top priority area with United. Really looking to bring in at least two centre backs this summer. With Varane gone, and obviously it's likely that one of these two will as well. There's plenty of work to be done in the window, and now we know obviously the obvious one is going to be Tadibo from Nice. With our links now obviously to that club, and with Tadibo being a bit of a lesser expensive option. Compared to the likes of Yoro from Lille, it does look as if that deal is pretty much already done right now. But in terms of someone who could play on the left-hand side, obviously deputizer Martinez, but can also play on the right-hand side as well, it does seem as though Branfait is going to be the major option for United for that position. But obviously it does depend yet again on that price tag. United are trying to force Everton's hand at the minute. We know obviously their financial troubles, we know they're trying to skirt with the financial fair play stuff at the minute, so United might be able to get that deal done. The news obviously is as well that United are also interested in Anasio from Sporting Lisbon, and I do think that's more of a card that United are trying to play to make sure that Everton know that United have other options and we're not going to be taken to the cleaners. Because unless Everton reduce that sort of 70, 75 million price tag, then that deal's just not going to happen for United right now, and it does seem as though Everton need the money. So with some bargaining, obviously it does look as if Tadebo is going to be a certainty and then it's the other option then we're going to have to have, to have a look at the different price tags. But it does look as if Tadebo and Branfait are going to be United centre-backs come next season. And now on to the more forward areas and it looks like the right wing is the most sought after. Obviously depending on whether United can shift some of the players they've currently got in that position right now. Olise has been the main target for United in that right wing position for quite some time and it obviously depends on how quickly United uh, get other business done and it depends on whether Elise is willing to wait. There's obviously talk about Elise being keen on joining United. People reading a lot obviously into who he's following at the minute. But he's obviously wanted by other clubs and mainly Chelsea so 
This one does depend on the timing of it all and also whether Oli says is willing to wait and how quickly United can actually snap him up. But in terms of any other options, United are also interested in Dewey, Williams and Neto. I really hope I pronounced that first name right. But either way, United are looking at other options, but Elise is definitely the preferred target for that right wing spot. And then in terms of the striker, obviously seemingly now is going to be a backup to Hoyland for next season. Obviously something that we needed last season, but it's something now the United really do need to sort out come next season. So now well, what are United's plans? And this is the one position where people don't really seem to know. The Sesco links just seem a bit farcical to me. And we haven't heard much interest in many others either. We've had links to Grassi, we've had links to Tony, and most recently Enesiri as well. But nothing really seems very substantial at the minute. And Honestly, again, it just depends on how much money United have left. If we're talking in ideals, I think United probably do do something with Ivan Tony, but again, just depends on how much money Brentford are going to want. But for now, I'm going to put him in there for my team for next season. But obviously, a lot has to happen for United to actually get that deal done. And lastly now, with Shaw's injury history, and obviously United and Shaw on Malasia's fitness now going into the new season, we know from Fab that United are looking to sign a new left-back in the summer transfer window. And at the minute, it does seem as though Bournemouth's Kirkes is the most likely at the minute, but Bournemouth could potentially play hardball with that deal. United thought it was going to be a bit of a cut price one, but it might not turn out that way. Other options obviously include Aitnuri, Bard, Matson. So there's quite a few options for United, but again, it just heavily depends on the price. With the majority of the funds dedicated to centre, to centre midfield, centre back and those forward areas, United now, we're going to have to look at that left back spot and see what could potentially be done. We know obviously there's players coming through with the academy as well, with Amas coming through, but it's doubtful whether he's going to be really ready now to play a, a lot of Premier League minutes. We know with Shaw's injury history, a left back is needed. But again, it fully just depends on that price. Kirkes is that main option for United at the minute though. And there we are guys. So this is the team with those rumoured links obviously added in there. And to be honest, looks like a pretty solid team. But again, a lot has to happen for this team to actually tape shape. This obviously was a bit of a prediction video. Just a little bit fun based on the rumours at the minute. But United have to get those player sales done. And as I've said, all those dominoes and everything have to fall into place. For United to get a transfer window that looks sort of anywhere near this. We just obviously talk about financial fair play. And obviously talk about people obviously still taking United to the cleaners a little bit. We still don't even know who the manager's going to be for next season. But I've enjoyed doing this one. And as I've said, if we can get some of these deals done, this United team is not looking half bad going into next season. But as always, it's the hope that kills you. This party's over. As always, guys, drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you in the next one.